Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Devon Terrell, The Living Weirdo. And today, what I'm going to be showing you is how I like to widen my lead vocals. Let's get right to it. Cool. So, widening my lead vocals, there's two techniques that I like to use. One is something that we, well, I'm gonna assume that most of us know, that's reverb. The other one is, a, uh, is an effect where I use a doubler, and I'm gonna show you that. So let me show you a before and after of the actual vocal, where we're gonna get to and where we are right now. So this is the vocal by itself, dry, without the reverb and the doubler effect that I'm gonna put on it to widen it. This is it solo, listen to it carefully. And make sure you listen to the headphones or else you won't hear um, really the nuances that this is bringing out. So listen closely. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. After with the effects. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. Now, to my ears, and when I listen to it, there's a huge difference. And um, definitely one big difference I hear is the stereo field sounds like it gets a, a lot, lot wider. Uh, the vocal before is really up the middle. Um, some songs uh, that works great for it, but for this particular song, I wanted a wide vocal that sounded huge and sounded like that. And that's what the reverb and the doubler helped do. So let me show you what I did. So first thing I like to do is I like to add the long, a long reverb. And this is a little unorthodox because what I'm doing in this for this particular vocal is I'm adding a long reverb and I'm adding a short reverb that's a plate verb. So with the long reverb, I'm really getting a vocal that has a tail that like kind of uh, decays a little longer. So it feels like I'm putting the vocal in more of a space. And I think that's what kind of gives you uh, the object of dimension with the vocal. So I put a very long reverb on this uh, vocal. I'll show you what this reverb looks like. Uh, this is it right here. I like to use this LXP Lexicon uh, Hall Reverb, super amazing. It has a reverb time of 2.2 seconds, which gives it that tail, and I like it a lot. And this is what it sounds like just with the long reverb. And I'll show you right now. One second. Just with the long reverb. Here it is just with the long reverb. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. And you can hear those that nuance of when the vocal finishes, you still hear a little bit of the vocal kind of like dissipating um, in the background. And that's what gives the vocal some depth and some dimension. So this is a part of adding that width to it. Okay, uh, before I get into the doubler, which is the huge, huge one, uh, let's go to the short reverb. Now for my short reverb, I use another Lexicon plugin that is routing to. And this is a plate verb. And usually for me, plate verbs have a certain brightness to them that I really like. And it really helps the presence of the vocal stand out without really damaging uh, the sound. So this is what I have for my plate verb. And my plate verb, as you can see, the reverb time is a lot shorter. It's actually half the time. My plate verb is just a really short delay that I have on it. I like to use plate verbs for reverbs. A lot of people do. Check this out. This is with the plate verb. Let's take off the long reverb as a matter of fact so you can just hear what the short verb is doing by itself. So this is just with the short verb on. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. It's extremely subtle, and I know what you're thinking. And that's why I use the short verb with the long verb together, and it gives me that entire sound, which is this right here. So listen to this with both on now. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. So the way that I'm using it, it's like I'm using the short verb to give more presence to the long verb initially when it first comes on. Real subtle effect, but nonetheless super effective and it gives the dimension. Now, let me show you the money shot. And what I do is I use something called a doubler effect. And this is basically what it looks like. So basically, you're seeing my sins and my sins uh, are another word for auxes and basically these are routed to effects if you don't know what that is I'll show you in another video exactly what that means, but just for now just follow me I'm using sins and auxes to send these two effects cool so doubler I am routing my doubler out and I'm sending it to me I'm, I am sent, using an aux to send this uh, Vocal to a doubler and this is what's on this this track. So this is the doubler effect that I'm using so I'm using one of my favorite doublers. It's a waves doubler effect. And basically what it has is it's gonna take your vocal, what a double effect is gonna do is it's gonna take your original vocal and it's gonna create 
multiple takes of that voice and it's going to put it right on top of the vocals like a layer and that's basically what it does but with this double in particular i have it panned 45 degrees left 45 excuse me 45 left 45 right and what that's going to do is now my original vocal will be up the middle but there'll also be a copy of that vocal left and right that will be on top of it and that's what helps me get that stereo sound now to add to that to even make it a little wider, what I do is on top of the doubler, I use an S1 imager. And the S1 imager, I just have, um, uh, basically what this plugin does is it's a stereo widening plugin. And basically I just increase the width um, to give me more width on the stereo uh, doubler that I already have on the effect. It's really, really a dope, dope way to kind of do this. Um, uh, if you don't do this, you should give it a try and see what it is. So I have it at about a 1.44 on the width for it from the original. So let me let you hear what it sounds like with and without the doubler. I'm going to take the reverb off so that you can just hear the doubler by itself. Check it out. This is with the doubler. I'll pop it in and out so you can hear it. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your Wait. page. I would never show you my excitement to have you, but goddamn, I can't front. I'm feeling like I got it. Baby, we can run through the city. Top down, smoke blunts in the whip. Baby girl, everything free. Make sure that you bring your ID. Drinks on me. Whoa. Fuck it up. Huge, huge difference. This literally takes that one very mono vocal and creates this stereo feel that makes the vocal sound mega huge. And with all three of those effects put together, the short verb, the doubler, and the long reverb, we get this total sound. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. Super dope, and I love that effect. That effect is amazing. I use that for a lot of songs. Now, it doesn't work for every single song, but it's really good for it. So I'll let you hear this with the song and let you feel how the space gets created for this song. Listen closely. I'm your type, no way. You just made my day. Sliding in my DM, I've been stalking on your page. And it sounds awesome within the space. It feels like the vocal lives in its own world, but at the same time, it has this, this encompassing sound that's around it that sounds extremely wide. So that's my tutorial on how I like to widen my vocals. Uh, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like. Make sure you comment below, ask me any questions, and follow us on the Help Me Devon uh, Instagram uh, I'll be answering questions and also giving daily advice on there. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how I like to widen vocals. Check out another video on your way out.